Hey, what's up guys, it's Noah. Now, just if you're wondering why it looks familiar to the last video, this is about two minutes after I finished posting my course to a video. But I wanted to make this separate because I have a few rules back tips separate from real golf, back here golf course. So if you hit it out of bounds, example, into the yard over the fence over there, you do not, you have the option of coming back here to play back, but you just drop it from where it went in and then play on. Like, for example, if you go over that right fence there, all you have to do is drop it where it went in, which would be like there. But that's not a green now. And then just play on. And then another thing, if you hit it in the water, you don't have to go all the way back from where you played from. But this is kind of weird. If you can, like if it's, say example, it hits the flag stick and comes back in the water, you just go from behind the line. It's kind of like real golf. But if you're potty normal, you'd have the flag stick out. But when I'm recording videos for rounds, I'll have the flag stick in so you guys can see the hole. But if you're putting with the flag stick in and it hits the flag stick at a at a regular face, that's not too fast, it counts because as you can see it can't sit right in the center of the hole and the ball. Sometimes the wiffle ball just bounces off. You can't use real balls because you could hit someone's car, break a window. The ball just bounces off the flag stick. So yeah, and then one more rule I wanted to share with you guys. <coughs> now this is just if you hit it in the water on that green over there. So if you're playing to this green, if one of the four holes that go to this green and you hit it, say for example, if you're playing from here, say, and you hit it in the driveway, if it like misses and comes back in the driveway, like for example if it goes there. You don't have to come all the way back to here. The drop zone, it's just, just for this shot, is right over here. So you just have to play a pitch shot back up there. Just to save time, because if you're playing on a windy day and you have to hit the shot over and over again, it could lead to a disaster. And another out of bounds example where you don't have to go back from the last way, it's kind of an advantage. Future shot over this, out of bounds, you can't go here because that's kind of cheating. You just go right in here. This is the drop zone. You just pot it up and get into the hole. Now, also, if you're in a bunker, for example, this one, there's not much swinging room. Or if so, you're allowed to hit a scoop shot, like just scoop it up, because there's not much swinging room. There's a big lip, so it's almost impossible to get it out. And that rule also applies to if you hit it in these bushes, that one. The ones over there, behind that green there. Anything, a bush that's not a tree. If it's a tree, you have to play it. But if it's a bush, you're allowed to scoop it out. Because it's just... Uh... But if you can't find your ball, like if you hit it in a tree, you can't find it. That is one rule where you have to go back to where you last played. You can't just drop it and go. But it's different for out of bounds. So, I will go back to the... Okay, I will have various rounds I'll play throughout the summer. Some with my cousins or friends, some will just be by myself. And also, a couple things I forgot to show you. The pull carts area, you can see there, is right over there. In the shed there. You can put your clubs in there when you're done. I don't want to disturb my sister playing soccer. She loves that sport. I'm more of a golf and hockey guy. So, this is just, if you're using my restaurant or so, you can sit in the back. But there's also here, you can sit and watch if there's people playing the golf course. It's a nice view. Or, you could go the other part, plate where you can watch people play behind the 18th green, the swing, or the table. It's a good view. The swing, you can see, watch people play 18. Same at the table, except you'll need to eat your food and you won't swap it on the swing. So, that's pretty much it for now. 
So thanks for watching, guys. And just to also to remind you that next round of golf I probably won't post for a while. This is a very busy time here. My sister's birthday is tomorrow, so getting busy. So I probably won't post anything for about a week or so. Maybe the various mini stick shootout thing that I have about five minutes for, but no round of golf for a while till I have a freer schedule. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.